everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome to December's edition of good to go and got to go what products did I love this month what products do I want to toss out the window this month so if you're new here welcome thank you for watching I really appreciate it and I have quite a bit of a long video today so let's just get to it first item up that I have is from Tony Moly. I saw this because I was just happened to be browsing on Ulta and I saw it and there was a buy one get one 50% off on Tony Moly products. So I'm a sucker for packaging and this is the cutest thing on the earth. It is a little panda and it is a Tony Moly So Cool Eye Stick. It's basically just a hydrating under eye gel. Okay, there goes the itchy, oh, itchy nose again. It is an under eye hydrating gel that looks like this. It's kind of an icy blue. It is a not hugely moisturizing, but it is moisturizing, but it is cooling. So first thing in the morning when I wake up, I will just swipe this on underneath my eyes, tap it in. It takes down a little bit of the puffiness when you first wake up. Gives you, you know, I'll have my coffee, I'll put it on again, and then I'll go in with my makeup. And it's just kind of like a just little primering thing for underneath your eyes and it sits on my little tiny vanity and I like to look at him and he's adorable. He is $12 that would ultra normally. I don't know if I would actually pay $12 for this but because they had to buy one get one free I mean buy one get one 50% off I was able to get something you know for 50% uh, off. I don't know if I'll be buying him again but for now while I have him he is in the good to go pile. Absolutely. <clears throat> Another skincare item I'm also going to try to go basically in order and I try to pick a couple of things from every category because I have a lot and I did purchase quite a bit in January yes I did so I have a little bit of from each of the categories and I'm going to try to kind of go in order as to how they apply in their face let's see how that process will go um, make no guarantees <laughs> but anyway this next item that I have is from a mini set that I got from Sephora it was over yeah they had them left over Christmas, leftover Christmas little things like that. So, yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. It is the Junk Elephant TLC Framboose. I don't know what that means. Glycolic Night Serum. Glycolic is an acid that works well on your skin for wrinkles um, and anti-aging. This is, the full size of this is $90. This is 0.27 fluid ounces. The full size of it is $90. I happen to love this. I've been mixing this up with the Sunday Riley Luna Night Sleeping Oil. I've been alternating between that and this, the Sunday Riley product that I've been using. I ex explained in my last video that I am experiencing some severe purging of the skin and some breakouts. So I've been finding for the last maybe three weeks that I've been doing this if I alternate between the glycolic acid and the um, retinol. I'm finding a little bit less of breakouts, so it seems to be working for me. Unfortunately, both of those products that I happen to get the minis of are super expensive. $90 is a lot, but you know, sometimes if something works, you keep using it because why buy products of that are less money that are going to be lesser quality that are not working for you? If I can find a another product that works just as well, that is cheaper, I'm going to try that. If you saw my last video, which I am going to link up here, I had a lot of skincare in my last haul, so I have a lot of different products to try. He, even though I may not be buying a full size, I will decide he is definitely good to go. The next product I have, it is a good to go, but I think it's a little gimmicky, and I think they came out with this specifically for this time that we're in where we're all on our phones and we're all looking down all the time and this is how we walk around in life instead of looking up the way we used to do. But this is the Strivectin hashtag Fight Tech Neck TL Advanced Tightening Neck Cream. And if I happen to be looking down, I'm sorry, I did make, make myself quite a bit of notes so that I could talk about the products intelligently and uh, be accurate about it. As I said, I'm sure this product has been around, but they just put the hashtag tight neck and to let people know that oh this is what I do I can buy this product I was highly deceived though I have to tell you I want to show you the box that it came in and I did see this on the website and of course it does give you the answer on the website but you know how the size of it can be deceived look at this tiny little thing teeny teeny tiny and that's what it was and I can't say that it was completely full I'm almost done with this as a matter of fact you don't need that much but regardless 
<clears throat> this is called a travel size. I would call this a deluxe sample in my opinion. Uh, this travel size was is 0.25 ounces, and it is this is fifteen dollars um, at Ulta. The full size of it is ninety five dollars. What I found interesting with this is it is obviously meant to lift and tighten the neck and for the horizontal um, lines and creases that you can get. I also happen to use sometimes on my decollete as well because as we age we get little lines in here because we were in the sun, we were bad girls and that's what happens. But you know I was reading the ingredients on this just a minute ago. The second ingredient in this skincare product is dimethicone and it's funny because you can definitely feel the dimethicone when you're applying it. It feels very silicone-y, if those are even words that I'm using. And I'm reading down the ingredients and I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be buying this. I do like it. It feels good going on and I've been using it. With these types of products you do have to give them a little time before you can see results and I really haven't seen, but if it's moisturizing. I don't know if I'm going to be purchasing this again because of the price tag. And the second ingredient is dimethicone. And I don't know. I'm really on the fence. This wasn't a... I like it. It's a good to go. But honestly, I was thinking to myself, considering the price tag, and I can get other products that don't have the hashtag fight, you know, you know, tech neck or whatever. But I'm thinking that I'm going to be trying something else. So it's okay. Do I think it's worth a $95 price tag? No, I don't. So changed my mind about that one. Okay, moving on to another product, which looks like... Yes, here we go. Uh, I got this as a sample at Ulta, and when I picked something up, I had stopped by the Clinique counter, and she gave me this. This has been around a long time. It is by no means a new product. This is the Clinique Dra Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I do know that they make this in a cream as well, but this one happens to be the gel. The full size of this is $27 at Ulta. Again, I'm sure you can get it elsewhere as well. This is an okay product. I wouldn't call it miraculous. It's not as hydrating as I would like it to be. I use this during the day and I unfortunately find that I'm having to layer it underneath or on top of other moisturizers that I'm using. I didn't want it to go to waste which is why I've been using it and it is almost done. It's not miraculous enough to me. The price is okay. I wouldn't mind paying $27 but I can say it's an oh my goodness I absolutely need this in my life. Maybe it was the summertime I might find it good but my skin is super dry so I I don't think it's it's an okay product but it's nothing that I'm gonna say it's in my absolute you know good to go product side that I'm gonna keep using so it's just meh it's okay not fantastic now this moisturizer this is gonna be definitely definitely got to go the only thing that's bothering me again is the price tag skincare good skincare items are gonna be expensive unfortunately. I'm pretty sure you can find some decent ones at the drugstore, but I get freaking spoiled by these samples that I'm getting, and I think I used a lot more skincare products from the drugstore when I was younger. Now that I'm trying to do much more anti-aging for my skin, I'm just finding that the more expensive products seem to do better. I am going to start trying The Ordinary. I want to order several of those items uh, and see how they work out. I've been hearing phenomenal things about them and those are drugstore prices with high-end ingredients. But this is the Renewed Hope in a Jar by Philosophy. I got this little sample and I was hooked. I got about two full days uses out of this. I put this on in the morning before my makeup. I'm in love. I'm in love with this stuff. The full size is four ounces and it is $65 which is a little bit pricey, but this stuff has triple AHAs. It has glycolic, citric, and mandelic acid. Now mandelic acid, some of the research that I did, is made from bitter almonds and it has antibacterial properties as well as it is said to fight lines and wrinkles. The ingredients, if you look down the ingredient list, doesn't have dimethicone as the first ingredient. It has a high, all of the active ingredients, which are the AHAs, they all listed high to the top of the list, which makes it a good product that you can be sure that is going to work at least moderately. So this is definitely going to be, even though it's a $65 price tag, I'm going to be purchasing more of this and keeping this in my regimen for sure because I fell in love with the little sample. Gosh darn it. 
and it's coffee time. Should I share my mug today? Yeah, I probably should. This is a mug given to me by one of my sisters, and it has her names on it, and it says, Sisters, sharing lives, holding hands, loving hearts, then, now, and forever. Isn't that a cute mug? And of course it has coffee in it. If you're new to my channel, you don't know, I am a coffee addict. I kind of have coffee in every video. It goes, goes together. Moving on. Let's talk about foundation. But this is the Jose Marin. I don't know. I say Marin. I've heard Marin. I used to say Moran. I don't know which is correct. I don't like to insult people by mispronouncing their name regardless. But this is the Jose Marin Vibrancy Foundation. You do get the standard one fluid ounce in the bottle. Very pretty packaging. I just thought it was quite ingenious. I like it. It's $45 at Sephora. You do get a pump, which I'm hoping will become standard amongst all foundations. More and more companies are doing so, and I really enjoy it. It is 100% pure argan oil. It does have a lot of good for you ingredients, which I did research. And I like that the only and I like this. The only thing that I find is it is extremely dewy and leaves you, it doesn't dry down because of the argan oil. And even, I have dry skin, so I do appreciate a dewy but and not matte finish. But this can tend to get, I find it sticky afterwards. The coverage is moderate. I wouldn't say it's fabulous. It doesn't cover um, everything on my face. And I'm actually looking for, now that I'm breaking out, I do actually want a really full coverage foundation and haven't found one that is not completely matte and drying. I like this. I don't want to put it in the got to go category. It is kind of a little liquidy, but it kind of remains sticky on the face. I've tried it a couple of different ways. I've, I want to continue to try it and play with it. I'm not going to give up on it. It does actually have a floral smell to it, by the way. A little florally, so if you don't like uh, scents in your foundations, you won't like this. I just want to show you what my hand looks like. It does feel smoothing. You know, maybe I've been applying it with a beauty blender. I'm wondering if I should try applying it with my fingers because this just like rubbed in really, really well on my hand. I never thought of that. I used to apply foundation with my fingers all the time and then voila, they invented this beauty sponge and now I stopped doing that. I may give this a shot. So this is not a, a got to go. This is a go. This is the, <laughs> this is, I'm going to give it another shot for this month. Oh, this one saddens me. This one saddens me. It is a definite got to go product. It is the Physician's Formula Insta Ready Full Coverage Concealer. This is 0.35 ounces. It does come with a pump, which is nice. It did also come with a little baby beauty blender sponge, which I should have brought with me. I think I probably tossed it because it doesn't feels soft, it's very hard, it's, you're supposed to blend it out, it doesn't work with this at all. Unfortunately, so I got rid of it. This is actually $10.99. You've been noticing that Physicians Formula products have been creeping up in price quite a lot, and this just unscrewed. As I said, this is $10.99 at Ulta. It does have an SPF of 30. It says that it's full coverage, and it's creaseless, and it'll do miracle things. I find that this is extremely heavy underneath the eyes, that it creases, and it makes my under eyes look very textured. It's not that it's drying, it just looks horrible underneath my eyes. It doesn't make my eyes look smooth at all. I was very disappointed because you read the bottle, you, you read the claims, and you get really disappointed. So unfortunately, this is a got to go and you're probably also paying for the sponge that it says that it comes with and the sponge is not worth it. You're better off getting the mini Echo Tools or the mini, what's the company? Real Techniques. Real Techniques has the little baby mini sponges. They're the same thing. The Real Techniques ones are much, much better, I will have to tell you. So that one's got to go. I'm still on that endless search for the magical concealer that will do what I want it to do underneath my eyes. I found plenty of concealers that work to kind of cover blemishes and or other things that are going on. I still cannot find, and I have a drawer full of concealers. If I showed you the concealers that I have, you would be shocked, actually. I've been working with these two. I'm trying to give them a good chance to work. 
The first one that I've been working with, which I'm going to say is a, it'll stay in my collection. I'm not going to toss it. But this is the Born This Way, what is it called? Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. Whenever I hear the word radiant in something, I always think that it's going to make me look like phenomenally glowing and gorgeous. No, nothing, nothing does that for me, except for maybe a magic wand. That's about it. So this is the concealer. I am in the color medium nude. I like it. It is not too creamy or dewy. It feels nice. It doesn't, I don't tug on my skin. It covers moderately well. This concealer, you get 0.23 ounces and it is $28 at Sephora. It does a decent job. I cannot use one concealer. My eyes always are puffy for whatever reason. And because of that, the puffiness will cast a shadow. So even if I have covered all of the darkness, which I do have, you will still get the shadow cast from the puffiness underneath your eyes. So what you have to do is put a lighter concealer underneath that puffy part of your eye, the bag, and try to blend that in. I am currently layering it with the Kat Von D, where are you, the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. I'm using the color neutral because it is very light. So what I do with this, this is by the way $26 and you do get 0.22 ounces. There isn't much of a difference except for $2 difference in it. Does a decent job. Let me show you the color. You see that is quite light, as you see that this one more matched my skin tone. So yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm matching my skin tone and then putting this underneath. You don't want to put this on top of the puffy part of your eye or an eye bag if you have it, because the lighter color is just going to accentuate the bag that's going to bring it forward. This you want to put underneath so it helps to recede the puffy part. It seems to be working moderately well. Um, again, I don't find any concealer that doesn't that doesn't look non crepey and non. It doesn't crease. I can get them not to crease, but they will look a little textured and crepey and dry underneath my eyes. And I find that midday my eye, under eyes looks super super dry, which is why I keep this in my purse a lot of times, and I will swipe this on during the day. But I digress from that. So those are good to goes but they're still in the meh category yet. I have a couple of primers that I want to talk about. This I got in the limited, was it the limited edition BoxyCharm? I believe it was, and everybody was kind of outraged because this is essentially the uh, travel size. It's 0.5 ounce, which is $18, and then they have the full ounce, full size, which is one ounce, which is $38. It is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. This particular primer, has more of a radiance to it. It is purpley tinted, purpley tinted. Kind of matches my outfit a little bit today. But it is radiant, so it just, I mean, it's not sparkly, but it just gives you a little bit of a natural glow. I don't find that it fills in my pores, so I do use one of my Smashbox primers to just press into wherever I happen to have more enlarged pores. I will put that one on first. That particular, I said it's $18. It is definitely a good to go. Will I be purchasing it again? I don't know. There's um, a bunch more primers that are out that I do want to try. So, but for now, it isn't a good to. It definitely is a good to go, and I like it. I currently have two eye primers, actually three eye primers. Let's talk about the one that's got to go. Now, it's odd because this company, I love that they do this. Urban Decay makes so many of these in different colors and variations. This is the Urban Decay, and it's upside down. There we go. The primer potion. It is twenty-two dollars at Sephora. This is the original. I don't know why, but on my eyes, this cakes up on my eyes. I can't get it to smooth out nicely. I also have tried Sin. I got a sample of this of the Sin when I use this. I don't understand it, but this one looks horrible on my eyes, and none of the shadows blend on top of it at all. The Sin, which is shimmery, I put on my eye and. Although it's shimmer, and I'll definitely, I actually used it on my eyes today because I was doing sparkles on my eyes. The shimmer 
is more moisturizing. I don't know whether it's a formula thing, I really don't know what it is, but that seems to be the case. So this one is a got to go, unfortunately. I know so many people love this, I just can't get it to work for me. This is the e.l.f. Um, eye primer. It's two dollars. It doesn't, this makes my shadow go on nice and I don't have any problem with any of the shadow staying. The only thing it doesn't do is it doesn't, it's not opaque enough to maybe cover any discoloration or veining in my eyes. Moving along down the food chain, as far as how we put on our makeup, I'm going to talk about two, two products that are unfortunately in the got to go category. I fell for the hype on these, I heard a lot of good things about them, so I stuck my toes in the water and I went for it. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in Light. Of course I heard so many amazing things about this. It does come with a little brush which no one seems to use, but the brush is kind of weird. It it's a foam sponge. I don't normally put on my bronzer with a foam sponge, so I haven't been able to understand that, but maybe someone else can explain it to me. Okay, so this particular one is $14.99 at Ulta. The problem with this was I was so excited to try it. I rushed home, opened it up, and I wanted to put it on. I don't like it. Everyone said the scent is amazing. I love scented things. Love, love, love. The scent does nothing for me. They said it smelled like, you know, suntan lotion and everything. Not really. Not to me. As a matter of fact, I don't think so. It just, it wasn't anything, it didn't do anything for me. I put it on and it's more shimmery. I'm going to swatch it for you. It feels like butter. I, I'll give you that. I've got a cute little thing. It doesn't really show up on me. I built it up and built it up. And I, I know there's another color, but... I figured this color would be good because I don't necessarily always want a stark contrast in my bronzer when I'm wearing it. This didn't thrill me. I'm not happy with it. It's in a got to go. I know I'm not going to continue to use it. I'll probably pass it on to somebody who will. Just really disappointed in that product to be honest with you. There we go. I had my number one. I said to be honest with you. I want to count again how many times I say that. The other item that I have is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. This one is in Natural Glow. Again, something I heard remarkable things about. Again, I had the same problem with this. This is super sparkly. I mean, focus. See the sparkle in that? I, I mean, super duper. And it's very, as buttery as it is, it's very chunky and powdery. You're not going to be able to see it because it is such a light color, but it is really powdery and chunky. And my memory card was full. I go through memory cards like I don't know. Just must be me. I was talking about the Physician's Formula Butter um, Blush. Butter Blush, yes. That I was saying how I'm just not thrilled with it. It's chunky. It's powdery. It's full-on shimmer, which is not always what I want in a blush. I don't know if I can try to make it work. Why should I when maybe I can pass it along to somebody who it works for? But you know, you hear all these raving things about it and you want to try it and then you get highly disappointed. So this little puppy has got to go. I was pleasantly surprised actually because I do have a physician formula product huh, that actually worked for me. And this is the Bronze Booster Palette in matte. This particular one was $12.99. Um, it is at Ulta. This is a triplet palette. It comes with a contour, which is a cool toned, a warm bronzer, and then a type of highlighter um, in here. I'm not thrilled with the highlighter. Again, this also comes with a brush. It's very clunky. This is an interesting brush. On the go, I could see using this because it does have a mirror, but this is something really big to keep in your purse, so I don't see myself carrying this around. I mean, the, the brush, as I said, in a pinch, will it work? Absolutely. It's a little, little rough, but at least the bronzers are good. Let me just swatch it quickly. We have the, the warm bronzer, this one and this one. So here you have your warm bronzer, here you have your contour, which is actually a perfect contour color for me. It's not too dark, it is nice and cool toned. The highlighter is meh, it doesn't really show up. 
very much. Sometimes I'll just use it if I went a little too heavy with the uh, darker bronzer color. I will sometimes throw a little bit of that lighter color on top. But I like that these two really work for me. So this is a purchase that I'm super happy for. And this is absolutely a good to go. So Physicians Formula, yay! One for them that actually worked out for me. Congratulations to them. <laughs> Let's just talk about some blushes that actually did work for me. These were the most adorable things in the entire world. This was an after Christmas sale that I got on Too Faced. They had, if you search the sites, they had all these phenomenal coupons and they were putting all of their Christmas kits on sale. Too Faced had, this was, I, they have a third one. I don't know what to do with it, I'm betting you it's in my purse somewhere. But these are actually called Too Faced Love Flush. I got three of them. They're teeny tiny, but I'm really liking them. To be honest with you, there we go. I said it again. The full size of these is $26. I will probably, when I go through these, buy a full size blush. This one is called Baby Love. This is just a pretty, they're very soft. It's a pretty peachy type of blush. You can't even see it because I have other swatches on my hand. There we go. They're soft, they blend nicely, like that one. This one is called Dream Lover. This is a, a pinky, so I go kind of light with this one, but it, they don't go on. They're not super, super pigmented, so this, even though it seems maybe it could be a little bright, I just had to layer it up, but it really goes on pretty. They're, they're not really shimmery or sparkly, so they just go on really, really pretty. And each of these came in their own little individual box. And it came along with, let me find it, here we go. Each of them came with the Too Faced Lip Injection. Each in a coordinating color, you got one clear. You got one, the one that came with the um, this blush was kind of whitish, but that's okay. I put it on under I put it on underneath the lipstick that I was going to wear. This one you can actually wear alone. I do kind of have it layered on today. I love the t I love the lip injections. It's been like been using it for years and years and years, and it's one of my favorite lip plumpers. Again, lip plumpers that they don't. Here it is. You can see it there. It's just a pretty pretty purpley pink color. They don't make your. This is actually one of my good to goes. Yay! They don't plump up your lips. You don't look like you got lip injections. I love the tingle that it gives on your lips. It gives a nice gloss to it. You can wear it alone if you want. And it fills in some of the lines. So, But this is something I'm really enjoying. I love these little baby things. I can throw them in my purse if I want to take a blush with me for during the day. They are perfect. They are absolutely um, I got to go. As I said, $26 for the full size. I'm going to do a repeat because I just can't stop talking about the palette. But first I'm going to talk about this. I got the Pure Soiree Diaries. I do know that in, I believe it was the... September or October BoxyCharm, everyone got this palette. I signed up after that so I didn't get it, but I saw some reviews on it and everyone using it that they loved it. That actually the price of this palette is, all that thought, $34. Not a bad price for a palette that has 12 eyeshadows. I've seen much more expensive palettes. I actually paid more for quite a few of my other palettes that, that have this many eyeshadows. I did actually get on sale because if you signed up on Pure's email list, you got 20% off. So I saved 20% on this. I also, um, yeah, I saved 20% on it and so I was happy to try it. I have to say I'm really loving this palette. This is an absolute good to go. What I happen to like about this palette is if I'm in a hurry, I can do a look in two seconds because it gives you, you know, the basically the overall lid. You can do a crease here. You can darken it up on the end. If you're just looking to do three quick shadows, you don't even have to think about it. They're lined up for if you want to do a kind of a dark look, if you want to do a lighter look with a smoky. They kind of have everything laid out for you. When If you don't want to think, if you don't want to have to say, what am I going to do today? This is absolutely fabulous. And as I said, the shimmer shades are buttery and soft. The matte shades blend really well. They may not swatch well, but I love the way they blend on the eyes. So I'm really super happy that I got this. <laughs> I have to talk about my Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. It was in last month's 
like gotta gotta stay, the good to go is I just can't stop talking about it. I have it on my eyes again. I have I'm wearing the pure diaries, the soiree diaries, and I'm wearing this. I happen to be wearing a combination of this blue and this blue in my inner corners. I have this in this one. I find myself reaching this for this palette every single day. Yes, it's an all shimmer palette, but every single color in here is just amazing. I find myself wanting to put this on my eyes on a daily basis. No matter what palette I grab, even if I love the other palette that I'm using, these colors, the way they have these neutrals lined out, lined up, and the vibrant colors, they're just, I can't say enough about it. I want these on my eyes. I mean, look at them. Look at them. That's really awkward, Leanne. Just can't say enough about it. I made it into my favorites again this month, and I won't talk about it again next month, but I, I just... When you find something that good and you love that much that you find yourself, for, for a clunky palette, when you find yourself reaching for it on a daily basis, you just like, it's worth mentioning, two months in a row. I'm going to talk about one mascara. I have like 10,000, but um, I'm just going to talk about one right now. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise which is, again, $9.99. $9.99 at Ulta, pretty much the same in other stores as well. Love the packaging. Heard so much about this. Had to go out and get it and try it, even though I had 18,000 mascaras waiting for me at home. It's, it's good. I mean, I like it. Is it as life-changing as people, like, talk about? <laughs> no, 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 it's, it, it's not. I, I mean, it's, it's a good mascara. It's, it's, it's a decent mascara, it's an okay mascara, but oh my goodness, you think that this made, thing was made out of gold with all the hype that it's getting? Like, it's, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, it'll stay, it'll stay in my collection until I use it up. I do sometimes have to go through with the comb and comb out, which I don't like. I happen to really love the Benefit There Real and the Benefit Roller Lash. Those I find kind of do the same thing. They're not as wet. This is a very wet mascara. And maybe that's why it's clumpy, but it's it's okay. It's not, oh, you know. So that's about it. I have just a couple of lip products that I want to talk about really, really quickly. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Saint Tropez. It is a metallic. I didn't think I was really going to like it, but I really, really do. This is another one I find myself layering on top of quite a bit and or wearing by itself. It is by no means... Um, stay proof or anything like that because it is a lip gloss but it is very opaque it sells for $16 which is fairly reasonable considering what some of the Urban Decay ones are going for I happen to like it I'm gonna keep it I had used one I had gotten one quite a while back I think probably in the summer that I used up and I like it I will it's good to go I'll tell you that this next one is the Maybelline Matte Ink it is uh, number 15, Lover. It is $9.49 at Ulta. Again, you can find it probably uh, less expensive. I had a hard time choosing a color. There were so many colors that I wanted. that I do really enjoy the Doe Foot Applicator because it's got that little hole in the center. It's pointed so you can get your Cupid's bow. Just swatch it. It's very creamy. It's extremely comfortable on the lips. It lasts for a decently long time doesn't last forever. I don't mind because I'd rather have to touch it up a little bit than have that crumbly feeling on your lips. So that is my January good to go or got to go. I seem to have a lot of good to goes. The products that I was disappointed in that I have to get out of my life, I was really disappointed in because they were products that I had high hopes for that just did not work out for me. If these products work out for you, I would love to know about it. I love having conversations with you guys in the comments. That makes my day. And that's it. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you so choose, if you would like to see more of these I'll be, I'm just going to continue to make them because I just, I just love talking. <laughs> so thank you guys. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.